go my guys and girls. It's your favorite noodle, the Game of Noodle here. And today we are at the um, uh, archery club. And today I'm going to be shooting a couple of dots with my super nice, well I wouldn't call it a super nice, but okay, bow. So I wanna say that we're gonna go for Uh, do you guys see the one in lane four? Uh, what are those two? Probably the top one. Okay, but yeah. So I got my nice quiver here. Four arrows. I got my studded things. I got badge, stabilizer, uh, sight, a thing, compound bow. Uh, the release, and yeah, that's really all that you have to know for compound bow. We've got now, and you move over to just move over there. I do not. Okay, well, yeah. So I'm gonna be using these arrows. As you can see, the tip is quite. See, the tip is quite sharp, good for penetration. So then you stick it in there, put it in there, lock it in there, grab this thing, pull the trigger, put it in there, make sure that it's nice and tight. And then you gotta get a good posture, like almost T-posing, and then boom. Now, I haven't been shooting for a long time, so that is really bad. Now, this might be a longer vlog for today, but hopefully, get some good shots. That was, yet again, a dud. But, let's try to see if we can get one. Okay, my grandpa showed me a way to hold a bow, which is a lot better for me. You put your middle finger here, put your index or your pointer finger there, keep your index and pinky out. Almost like the bur how the first print T, but index as well. Pull back the bow, nice stance. Look where your feet are. Be a shoulder width apart. Front one, farther in front of the other one, the back one. Pull back. Breathe in. Fire. Dang it. Okay, now that was not, that wasn't a very good shot. This is because I'm very rusty and I tend to move a lot. We have a child named, uh, or rather a teenager named Jacob Brassa, and he was my big buddy. I was in grade two, I think? Two or three. And then, yeah. So let's go over to the place and check out what I got. So, I think I might just take it off. As 
is a quiver that my grandpa made for me. Quite nice. It's just that you have to <clears throat> increase the length of this thing. Now, for people who don't have, oh, of course, that's why I'm shooting the AC. Well, anyways, we are going to be shooting at the 15 meter, meter rather, that's the 18 meter. And I was using the wrong pin to shoot. But yes, uh, so we're going to try to shoot one more time. And hopefully I get some good shots down this way. normal kind of target as well so that has a little bit to do with it so yeah now this is just practicing and we we do have like tournaments and stuff i went to prince albert once for a tournament-esque kind of thing it's quite nice i, I liked it there it's quite fun Right on the yellow. Okay, now that's good. Now, the thing about this is that uh, the yellow doesn't always mean like perfect bullseye. Well, technically it depends on what kind of target you're shooting at all and also what kind of bow you're using. As you can see, there is a re recurve bow over there, which is my grandpa's. And then I have a compound bow. Now, they did change this re recently, where the compound bow and the recurve bow are shooting the exact same thing, where usually for the compound bow, this would be 9, that would be 10, but they changed it. So now, this is 10, and this is also 10. And then, we have another one that's 9. But, the... But technically, that's on a different target, which is the large target, which is used for beginners. The only reason why the better people use these is because whenever they're shooting on a big target, they tend to like, like you know in the movie Brave or something, when she shot the arrows, and then, and then she shot the other arrow and it went right through the other one. That technically what happens here, except these are carbon fiber, so what happens is it just destroys the arrow. Sometimes it might just explode. I don't know. Jacob Brasso told me once that that did happen to him. He, he like shot an arrow and hit the arrow, and when he tried to pull it out, it literally exploded, and pieces of carbon fiber got in his skin. Like, it must have hurt like crazy. But, I mean, like, yeah. So, anyways, that's going to be it for today's uh, gaming video. Or, I guess, vlog. Because 
I don't tend to do this that much on this channel. It's just, I do have another channel out there. It's called the Vlogging Noodle. Technically vlogging, or is that a real word? Ne never mind. Uh, I do have that channel, so um, go subscribe to that channel. Uh, well, technically it's not up yet. I'll have it up maybe in one or two days. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like the video. Hit that like button, and peace out.